Hello Cancers and welcome back to my channel Luma Moon Tarot. So Cancers, I am super tired, okay? But I don't know if it's because it's really late or because I just had a dance party in my living room. I'm not quite sure which one it is. <laughs> but I did get a song for your reading and um, if you guys aren't dancing to it after this video, um, I'm going to be highly disappointed. <laughs> So anyway, Cancers, it is really late at night, and this song is keeping me up for you guys, so I have to do your reading now, but I'll post it in the morning like usual. Um, but anyway, Cancers, you're about to have a dance party. Get in your jammies. Yeah, it's time to bop around. Um, this reading is for the collective, so it may or may not resonate with you, Cancers. <laughs> Just take what does resonate. Toss out what doesn't, okay? Don't try to force any reading into your world, but I really do mean it about the pajama thing, okay? So, yeah, it's a pajama read. It's a requirement. So, anyway, thank you, Cancer, so, so much for your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, everything that you guys do that helps this channel keep growing. I love you guys. You know how I get when I get tired, right? <laughs> Okay, so Cancers, the song that I got was You Spin Me Right Round, Baby, Right Round, Like a Record Baby, Right Round, 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 Right? Um, from Dead or Alive, okay? Uh, so I feel like there's a person coming back around, round, yeah. Um, and it said something in there about tracing your private number. That one kind of stopped me dead in my tracks. That was a little bit creepy, so I hope that's not happening with someone. You may want to check that out if you have a feeling, right? Um, but yeah, this person from your past, they're coming back around, Cancer. I feel like they're doing a 180, and the music is like very fast-paced. You'll figure it out when you're dancing to it in your living room, right? Anyway, it's really super fast, and I feel like this person knows they're running out of time. Um, so they've got to be like quick about it, right? Uh, but yeah, that's the song that I'm getting. Um, you spin me right round, baby, right round. Yeah, um, all I know is that to me, you look like you're lots of fun. Open up your loving arms, I want some, want some. I set my sights on you, cause no one else will do. That's very important. Yeah. And I, I got to have my way now, baby. I don't know how it goes. <laughs> but yeah, I was dancing to it though. Uh, yes, that is a song that I got for your reading. I feel like somebody's coming back from your, from your past. They're coming back around. Um, you've got them spinning right back around cancer um no one else is gonna do okay they it says somewhere in there about they just want to be your friend so maybe this person wants to start off slow but they're coming back around um divine what can you show me for cancer today <laughs> um it is today already it's late cancer and i am tired so you know <laughs> i love you guys Ooh, they're feeling a bit hopeless. Uh, yeah, brokenhearted, receptive. They know you're getting away, okay? They know that trust is an issue. And they're hopeful. They can plant a seed. They're very disgusted with themselves right now. Um, okay, so how is this person feeling? Well, here's you. Let's start off with you, okay? Let's just cover up the words for a second and see it says encouraged, right? Go, go, you can do it. Cover up the words and the card takes on a whole new meaning. And this is how your person is feeling right now, kind of panicky, right? Um, it's very fast paced. I feel like you took those training wheels off and off you went, Cancer. Um, very, very quickly, moving forward, high vibing, raring to go, right? Um, not slowing down anymore. Leaving them behind, saying, wait, waving their arms in the air, see? Because you're leaving. You're leaving them behind. They know that trust is a big issue. I feel like this person really wants to reach out, but they don't know if you're even going to talk to them. 
Uh, they're hopeful they can plant some kind of seed though here. I don't know what this is, so we'll try to figure that one out. Um, some kind of idea or like, you know how you mention something to someone and they just kind of think about it and it grows into something else. That's kind of what they're hoping for, that they can plant some kind of seed or something that's going to grow. I feel like this person, uh, they're angry with themselves because I feel like they played a little game here. I feel like it was kind of a controlling game, like they tried to control the outcome somehow, okay? And put themselves in control, right? In the driver's seat. Uh, you're clearly the one in the driver's seat here. But they were holding off, holding off, holding off, communicating with you, waiting this whole time and hoping that you would talk to them. That's the feeling that I'm getting. This person was... was um, hoping that you would talk to them, which didn't happen. You took the training wheels off and you left. <laughs> Leaving him like, hey, I set my sets on you because no one else will do. Yeah, right. And now they're like, they broke their own heart because they know no one else is going to do. You know, no one else is going to be you, okay? Take your place, I guess. And they waited so long that now this thing is coming to an end. The situation seems hopeless for your person. They know you're not going to reach out. They're probably very emotional right now is what I'm sensing with all the tears here in the picture. Because you're leaving and you still don't trust them because they didn't reach out. It's... Yeah, I know, Cancer. I know. I know. <laughs> All right, what can you show me here for Cancer? I, You know, there's days like this that I, I really wish you guys, like, were just here and we could, like, have a little tarot party, you know. Yeah, I know I should do live. Somebody just said that. I know I should. That would be very cool for a night like this. Or a morning like this, I guess. Okay, what else can you show me for cancer? What else can you show me for cancer? This person wants to come back around. They're in a depression right now. Feeling embarrassed. They're very, very depressed about the situation. I feel like... Um, they could even be getting exposed in, in their life, in their inner circle here. But I just feel like you were so confident. You were always confident uh, with this person. You always knew what you wanted with them. You were ready to take a leap of faith. You would have stood by them, okay? And they couldn't do that for you. And I feel like that's what they're thinking about here. They couldn't do that for you, and now they're embarrassed. They were hoping to regain some kind of control here, um, waiting, it, waiting it out, basically. They wanted to wait it out and have you try to communicate with them. Maybe that's what they were used to, but no, uh-uh. This high-vibing cancer took a leap of faith, a bold one, um, a confident one for yourself. And now this person has no idea how to reach you. They're so confused. They don't know what to do or how to fix this. They don't. They can sense your energy leaving the scene. Some of you could even be moving. It even says, I need to move in just a little bit closer. So maybe um, there, this person could have to travel now to get, you know, to come towards you. But they have no idea how to express themselves here. They don't know which route to take. Because they really screwed up. But this person, I feel like they're coming back around cancer. Let's um let's get some tarot on it. Yeah, I am exhausted, guys. <laughs> you know, every once in a while these messages will keep me up. Usually I sleep like a baby, you know. But um yeah, tonight I guess I just had to have a dance party to this song. It was fun. <laughs> But that used up all my energy. 
All right, what can you show me for cancer in this situation? What can you show me for cancer? Okay, sabotage. I feel like this person sabotaged it by playing little games and waiting you out, you know? Yeah, there could have been someone else who sabotaged this connection. Something's coming to light here. You could be dealing with the Leo. What else can you show me for cancer? Let's see what this is. Empress. I feel like whoever sabotaged you here, this person can clearly, if somebody said something about you behind your back or tried to trash you, right? Try to um, make you, you know, ruin your reputation somehow uh, to sabotage this connection. I feel like it's coming to light here. Your person can see you sitting in the Empress throne, um, having a victory out here. Yeah, you block this person off, maybe no communication. I think you're just fed up. You took off. Look, in every picture I see you and you're you're pretty much outy. All right, what else can you show me here for cancer? Yeah. Here you are. Empress energy taken off. You could even be moving. Um I just see you moving forward, okay? Moving forward, having a new um, journey here, taking your training wheels off, cruising, and this person's being left behind. And they're watching this happen, and they want to reach out. They know now, they, can, they have clarity that you're the one that they want to commit to. This person wants to commit to you. This is something they're clear on. You know, so they're watching you move move on, but uh, man, they want to reach out to you really bad. Yeah, look, they want to come forward, tell you how they feel about you. You're the star here, Cancer. You know, um, you're very peaceful, very calm, right? You've got this loving energy. Um, you're you could be in the public eye with the star here. I feel like you are. Uh, all eyes seem to be on you, Cancer, okay? And you're out here glowing, shining, um, being a guide for all of these other people here, all these other stars. And you're beautiful. Whatever it is you're doing creatively, intuitively, it's, it's gorgeous. People love it, right? And so does this person sees you as their star. You know what I mean? Yeah, they see you as the star in their life, I'll tell you that much. They really do. They see you as the star in their life, and they're coming back around. You're the one that they want to commit to here with the Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. Yeah. All right, what else can you show me for Cancer in this situation? Yeah, guys, I'm really wiped out. I'm tired. Wanting to give back. Equal give and take. Feel like this person wants to invest into you now. They are watching you, Cancer. I feel like not just watching you here, they're studying you. Um, like if you're posting something, okay, put whatever it is, you're putting it out there, right, for everyone to see. So let's just say you're posting stuff on social media. Your person isn't just watching and, and reading and seeing what you're posting. No, no. They're looking at who's commenting, how often these people are commenting. Then they're going into those people and, and checking out those people. Who are they to you? I mean, they're really doing their homework here. Okay, they're trying to find out as much about you um, personally as they can. Okay, I feel like they're, they may be worried that you're with somebody else. Oh, yeah, they're looking for some kind of sign, Cancer, I feel. They're looking for a sign. Do you still love them? That's their big question. Do you still 
is there is there still any love there for them okay uh, they stood here for so long that all of the love and all of the love all of the water and emotion in this lake bed dried up okay they stood here this long waiting to hear from you it never came right you did not contact this person but look your your lake bed your river here whatever this is you've got all kinds of water in this you know it's almost like you took your emotion and you 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 healed yourself you fed yourself and others you know you never stopped being loving it's just that they waited so long that all the love and the the emotions here dried up for them they're wondering if you still feel the same is there any chance for transformation here or is it over with the queen of cups here you know do you have any more love in that cup for them that's what they want to know do you have any more love left? Wow. Yeah. And that's you, Cancer Queen of Cups. I'm telling you. That one wanted to come out, but I couldn't get it. <laughs> All right. What else can you show us, Divine? Yeah, they want to know if you still love them. That's. I feel like that's the biggest question on their mind right now do you still have any feelings for them is there any fee are there any emotions left in this cup you know because they want to get back together they want to build something solid here All right, so what's going on behind the scenes with this person? That's too much. Betrayed. I feel like this person was betrayed by, well, I had the two of swords there, so I don't know. Maybe they were blocked off by someone, but they're feeling very betrayed. I feel like they got betrayed in, in whatever situation they were in, okay? All I know is they broke your trust. Very burdened. Oh no. Oh. They may have an STD, guys. This person here could very well have an STD. Either that or it's just very immature communication, but that is an STD card. Oh boy. That is an STD card of mine. Um, this is bad health. And this, you know, is, I mean, this could be dealing with the fire sign, but I feel like this person was kind of a schmoozer. I feel like they could have an STD. And they're trying to keep it a secret. Maybe that's why they haven't come forward. Yeah, there's something not right. I'm telling you, I'm getting wand after wand after after wand. Yeah. They could have gotten an STD here. It's not going to be for all of you, but... I feel like this person is out in the cold, feeling very out in the cold. I think they are suffering some kind of health issue here. I'm really feeling it. Yeah, I feel like this person was lied to, betrayed by whoever they followed. That wasn't you. Could be dealing with the fire sign, but not necessarily. This is someone who is very good looking, charismatic. Um, someone who dresses good, smells good. Someone who's used to getting what they want. And someone who's very passionate, too, you know? Um, yeah, I'm seeing a, a possible issue with the possible STD that they're trying to hide. What else can you show me here for cancer and the situation? They're coming back around, though. All I know is that to me, you look like you're lots of fun. You're like... 
Well, yeah, but I have my boundaries up. I am a lot of fun, but I have my boundaries up, right? You're like, no, I'm not that much fun. No, no, and I have work to do. <sighs> yeah, yeah, Cancer, stand in your boundaries with this person. Because they're coming back around. They set their sights on you. No one else will do. But they know that now. But, yeah, stand in your strength. Stand in your boundaries, okay? Be strong. Otherwise, this person's going to get you trapped in your mind all over again, Cancer. Because you know what? They have a little health issue. Okay? And you don't want that health issue. All right. Yeah, they're up late at night, crying, stressed out. I feel like they're just upset. Altogether, they're just upset. And I feel like they could even be hearing from other people that they've been with. And they may be even having to defend themselves. Because maybe uh, this STD has gotten around to some other people. I don't know. They're feeling defensive. They're feeling um, panicky. I feel like they feel kind of panicky. And they feel... You know, like they're falling apart here. Really stressed out. Can't sleep. Yeah. I feel like some news came into this, came towards this person that really opened up their eyes here about what, what was truly important. Really. What was really important. Yeah. They're seeing things, yep. They're looking at all of their options here. Ugh. People that they held on to, maybe. They're getting a lot of opinions being shot at them. They could have given someone else um, an STD here or something. They feel very betrayed. What else can you show me? I feel like they're just very confused. They're very confused. Who gave what to who? Okay. And you're not a part of it. You're out here just living a peaceful life. I feel like the divine um, really spared you from this. Okay. The, this was, you were, you've been protected. All right. What can you show me? What else can you show me? This person's coming back around. Yeah, now they want love. Now they want a new beginning in love with you, okay? This is what they want. They're coming back around, Cancer. But I feel like this person, this one in particular, and this isn't going to be for all of you, but this one in particular, I feel like they've got an issue with their wand, okay? Just so you know. Um, let's see what they want to say. You spin me right round, baby, right round, like a record, baby, right round, round, round. Yeah, this person's coming back around, Cancer. And they're very used to getting their way, but they're really stressed out now. I feel like they look at you, they know you're beautiful, they know you're clean. You know what I mean? They're getting a lot of opinion shot at them, and I feel like it has something to do with um, this illness, okay? Whatever this is that they've got. All right. Okay, what can you show me for cancer? What does this person want to say? Thank you. Yep, what did I say? Do you still love me? That's the first, didn't I, did I not say that that is the first question that's on this person's mind? Do you still love me? And this is the first card. I'm telling you, guys, I cannot make it up. It doesn't feel right without you. 
I didn't want to, but I had to give you up. That's for someone. I don't want to lose myself in this relationship. I feel like this person, maybe they were afraid of how they felt about you. Maybe they felt um, different with the person that they followed out in the cold here because they could have even um, like enabled a lifestyle or something, you know, that they had. Maybe they, they're worried about the kind of work, the effort that they'll have to put in if they are to be with you, okay? I feel like that is kind of what it has to deal with, but their biggest question is, do you still love me? I wish things could be different. The life I'm living is not going how I had imagined. I'm afraid to contact you. Yeah. Anyway, Cancers, listen, that's what I've got for today's love update. It's, it is today already, but it's very, very, like, late, actually. <laughs> so I'm really super tired, okay? I do hope this resonates with you guys, though. Um, and I really do hope that you have a dance party uh, to that song after this, after this video is, is over, right? Yes. Dance party in your jammies. Yay. Anyway, Cancers, listen, um, I love you guys. If you guys like this video, please click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Help me grow. Become a new Mooney. And until next time, until next dance party, Cancer, take care of you and peace out.